Hey guys and guys and guys, welcome back to another episode of Making Rocket League Better. And guys, guys, I'm going to be showing you a really cool method by which you guys can instantly hop into another game when one game ends. So it does everything automatically. You don't have to do anything. It will make you leave the game, enter training instantly, and also search the match simultaneously. And guys, you can hop into a new game just like that automatically, and it will save you a lot of time. So guys, first I'll just show you how it works by testing it, and if you guys like it, then you guys can follow the video, and then you guys can install it in your own Rocket League. So guys, I'll just start a game right now so that I can show you how this works. So I'll just start a game. So guys, now it looks like the game has almost come to an end, and now guys, just watch carefully. Right when the game ends. Then you guys will be able to see that it will automatically take out. As you guys can see, it automatically took me out. And as you guys can see on the top, it has started searching. And also, I'm right into free play, and it's that easy, guys. It did everything automatically. It started to search. It put me in free play. I can do my free play training and stuff before the game. And when the game starts, guys, I can play in a game. So it's so fast, guys. Without wasting any time, I'll just show you how to do it for yourselves. Guys, so doing this is actually really easy. What you guys have to do is that you just have to first of all install Parkes Mod, and after that, you guys will have to go onto this link in the description. This will be like the first link. And if you guys don't know, by the way, how to install Parkes Mod, then you guys can click on the second link in the description. It has the video which shows exactly how you can install Parkes Mod. And after you have done with that, then you guys can just come on this link, and then you can just click on Install with Parkes Mod right over here. And now just click on Open Plugin Installer. And now just wait for some time and then hit enter. And after you guys are done with that, then you can just go to your Rocket League. And now you guys can just like press F2. And make sure guys, Bakis Mod is running in the background for that. Let me just show you. As you guys can see, it's running here. Or it can also be running here. Make sure it is running. If it's not running, then it won't work. So after you guys have pressed F2, you'll see something like this. If you don't see, just like look for instance suit in this thing. And then click on that. And then you'll see something like that. So guys, when you guys come on the screen, you see all of these things right over here, all of these options. You guys can first of all uncheck this or check this because this means enable plugin. This means like if you uncheck this, this whole thing will not work. So just check it if you want it to work. And then here, enable instant training. You can check it if you want to hop into a training right after the game ends automatically. You can also set a delay here. That means like you can be put on to training after some delay and after that guys you can also disable or enable this training for casual because in casual if you guys want to instantly leave or if you guys don't want to instantly leave then you can like disable or enable it accordingly and guys here enable instant queue it means like enable instant matching so if you guys like right after your match ends if you guys want to like enable this matching instantly then you can like enable it or if you guys don't want that then you can disable it but guys this is the main use of this plugin so you must check this up and also guys you guys can also like increase this delay right over here as well if you guys want some delay in the queuing procedure so now guys you guys can same ways disable for casual and you can also enable instant exit if you guys do this you can't hop into training because training is not a part of the exit it is actually separate so if you guys want to exit instantly then you guys can also check this up and then check this and you guys can same ways uh, like put a delay here and uh, also you can disable or enable it for casual also you guys can disable it in private tournament and heat seeker matches because these matches are different and you guys must not want this all to work on these matches and guys if you find this video helpful then do drop a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one